Last year we painted my dashboard, but we left out a big step. So this year, we are doing it again and doing it right. Hi guys, welcome back to Ellie's Garage where my dad and I are restoring a 1965 Ford Falcon to become my daily driver. But we've never done this before. So when we originally painted my dash, we couldn't paint it correctly because we didn't have the windshield out. So when we sprayed it, we sprayed it from kind of far away and in the very back where we couldn't reach, it just kind of all settled, leaving a lot of paint nibs that we had to sand off. So now with our windshield out, because we had to take it out for bodywork reasons, we are finally going to paint this correctly. Okay, so we are finally repainting the dash without the windshield in, which will make for a much nicer paint job. And we are starting by taping off where we don't want to scuff because uh, we are only painting the top of the dash. Nice. But we don't have to do it very heavy. Is it already kind of? Because yeah. yeah, now remember we've got clear on top here. Yeah, that's great. Maybe I will need help. This is going to take forever. <laughs> okay. Is it more kind of paint nubs? Yeah, because of the way we sprayed it. I think you might need actual sandpaper. Yeah. I think I'm gonna scuff the whole back, little portion the whole back of the dash with 320, just because there are little nubs. Paint nibs. Yeah. Well, right yeah, that's there. that's where we couldn't get to. Yeah. Can you tell if my side is good or not? It's really cold in here. We have to paint today and uh, it's quite cold in here. So we need to turn on our heater so that we can get the metal up to above 60. Let's see how cold it is. Okay, so it's just above 40. Okay, let's get the, let's get the heater turned on. Yeah. All right, we're gonna let that run for a little while. So we're gonna go inside and wait till it warms up in here. So it's been about 40 minutes, so it should be warm and it's actually kind of hot in it's, here. It's a little toasty. Uh, so it should be 97. It's 90, it can't be 97. What? Feel it, does it feel warm? Yeah. I guess it was right in the, it, what, try, try the other side. 87. Okay, well, it's definitely above 60. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get ready. make sure that's nice and clean um, before we go paint. Tack our can. <laughs> okay, so we were about to paint, but there's one more thing that we have to do, and that is we don't want a hard edge from where our new paint is to our old paint. So we're gonna do a little method that we've seen on a couple of videos where you basically take a piece of tape and you kind of like curl it backwards so that it has a nice uh, soft edge. So we're gonna try to figure that out together. <laughs> um, uh, and then after that we'll paint. Okay. I'm gonna go from here. And then you just do that? Yeah, yeah, basically, and then... Does that uh, look right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's. I think that's got a nice soft edge on it. Oh, so now you're just continuing. Yeah, now I'm just extending. Okay. Yeah, I think that's gonna be a nice soft edge for that paint. I'm just working my way down to push it so that it doesn't flap and stuff. 
Oh yeah, that looks good. Okay, so now that that's done, we're gonna finish draping and masking the rest of the car and then we'll be good to paint. while we were masking up, but it's still pretty warm. I'm gonna double check the temp, but masking didn't take too long. It was pretty simple, and we did a pretty good job. So I'm just gonna check the temp of the metal. Yeah, what do you got? 67. Okay. So we need to paint now. <laughs> the color of the paint is a kind of rose gold color, and we got it at a paint shop, and it's meant mostly for Hyundais, but I thought that it would look nice for my Palomino interior. It was really nice that Dad and I were painting it together when I got tired from painting for so long or when I couldn't reach a spot because I'm right-handed and he's left-handed. <laughs> it's fumey in here. Okay, so um, we got our first coat done. Um, we're not really liking how the like new can or the old can sprays, but we have a few new cans, so we're gonna hopefully that they spray better. Um, but first coat done, we're gonna wait five minutes and then we're gonna do second coat. Nicer. Yeah, that's much better. Do you need me to hold it now? No, I'm doing good. Nice. Right. So we're inside from the Fumi Garage and the base coat looks really good. I think it's ready to go. And we are um, about to do our clear coat. We are actually using Eastwood's 2K um, clear coat in matte because I like the matte finish better than I like the glossy finish on my um, dash. We're gonna break the seal to release the activator and then shake it a whole bunch and then we'll be ready. There you go. And now it's so we're gonna do one more thing before we do the clear and that is we have to move our tape line back just a little bit. Not much, it's barely anything, but where we feathered our, um, our paint, we want to feather the clear coat just a little bit further than that so all of the paint is covered up. Um, so I'm just gonna go around and like barely touch the um, tape to just move it back just a little bit and then that should be good and we should paint our clear coat. Yeah. I'm just pulling just a little bit. I think that's exactly what's needed. Yeah, that's great. I'm just waiting till I can see a little more of the blue. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, I'm not gonna touch anymore. <laughs> Clear coat time! <laughs> Okay, so that's done. Now we're gonna go paint the speaker grill so that it matches the dash. See some weird hard line? Nope. Okay, so we have two coats of base, two coats of um, clear, and 
this is obviously the way that you have to do this. You should not do this with your windshield in. It is a bad idea. It does not turn out right. So we did it correctly and I'm proud of us for doing it correctly this time. So I'm really happy with the result and now we just have to wait for all to dry. Old color, new color. That's how you know we got right on it, is that it's such a different color. <laughs> Are you gonna put that back in? Nice. Oh, that looks good. And the final thing that we're going to do is we are going to check our soft edge that we worked really hard on to see how well we did it <laughs> um, and to see if we need to fix it in the All future. Right, drum roll. Okay. It looks good! It does? Like, look at that! Feel it. Like, is there, do you feel any I, kind of? I can kind of see a difference, barely. Like, over here, like, there's a line right there. Wow, that is really hard to but see. But it, it's super hard to see, so I'm not even upset about it. That's great! Way to like, go! That looks so good. Nice job. Nice job. So what I'm taking out of the garage is that even though it can be harder, it's always good to do something the right way. Preferably the first time. Take a look at this video where we first painted my dash the wrong way. As always, thank you to my executive producers, Drew Carter and Kevin and Julia. Thanks for watching, consider subscribing, and I'll see you next time in the garage.